again. We know a set of usual distributions from statistics, some for discrete variables, other to continuous ones, which in our context usually translate to symbolic versus numeric variables. Among the probability distributions, some are of particular interest given their correspondence to real phenomena. The uniform to represent equal frequent values, the Bernoulli to represent binary variables that assume one of two possible values, the Poisson to express the probability of occurrence of a set of events in fixed intervals, the binomial to describe the probability of k successes in n draws with replacement, or the hypergeometric, similar to the binomial, but for draws without replacement. For continuous variables, the normal or Gaussian distribution is our best friend in data science and is used whenever we don't know much about the data. The exponential is the distribution to use to describe events which occur continuously and dependently over time at a, at a constant average rate, but also the log normal or the chi square, the distribution best suited for describing the sum of the squares of k-independent standard normal random variables and lots of other well-known and studied distributions. But most of all, we can use them as a reference to approximately identify the distribution under our variables. Recognizing their shapes may help on making decisions about how to deal with each variable. In particular, the normal distribution has some very interesting properties that, help, that helps our choices considerably. Any variable following a normal distribution with mu min and sigma standard deviation will have approximately 68% of the records assuming values between mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma. More, it would have approximately 95% of the records assuming values between mu minus 2 sigma and mu plus 2 sigma. And almost all the data, approximately 99.7%, would be between mu minus 3 sigma and mu plus 3 sigma. Given these properties, it is easy to see that we can just use them to present a statistical definition for outliers. So, an outlier is an, ex an expected value, very uncommon, and that is too large or too small when compared with the variable's mean. So, we can say that an outlier is any value lower than the mean minus n standard deviations or higher than the mean plus n standard deviations. Besides the central tendency, another important data characteristic is its dispersion along its range. Standard deviation and its square value, the variance, measure the variability of the data giving an insight about how dispersed is the data around its average. Remember that standard deviation is measured in the same unit as the data, which makes it, it easier to analyze than variance. Since our data sets are usually a simple sample of some population, we have to use the sample standard deviation as an estimation to its real value. Back to the iris flowers, Given the mean value as computed before and equal to 5.843, we are to find that the sample length has a sample standard deviation of 0.828 and a variance of 0.686. Along with the mean or median values, it is usual to use the five number summary as a way to describe data dispersion. These five numbers correspond to the minimum and maximum values assumed by the variable, its mean or median, and the first and the third quartiles, Q1 and Q3, respectively. Remember that a quartile corresponds to 25% of the records, accidentally sorted according to the values assumed by the variable. So, the first quartile for a variable just corresponds to the interval of the smallest 25% of collected values for the variable. So, our sample length has a minimum value of 4.3, a maximum value of 7.9, and a median of 5.8, as seen before. Since our dataset has 150 records, our first quartile, 
Q1 corresponds to the 38th smallest value assumed. So, Q1 is 5.1. And the inverse for the third quartile. It corresponds to the 38th highest value. So, Q3 is 6.4. From the quartile numbers, it is usual to, to define the interquartile range as the difference between the third and first quartiles, which covers 50% of the data corresponding to the central values. So, the IQR for the sepal length is just 6.4 minus 5.1, which is equals, equal to 1.3. Box plots are special charts perfect to stand for a variable's five number summary. In this chart, the data is represented with a box that starts in the first quartile and ends in the third one, and where the median is signaled with a mark inside the box. In addition, there is a line that crosses the box from the, no the non-outliers limits, the first quartile, minus one and a half IQR, and the third quartile, plus one and a half IQR. This line is usually called whisker. If outliers are present, they are represented as dots behind the whiskers. It is, it is usual to represent more than a variable in the same box plot chart, which is useful to confront the different central tendencies of each variable and their corresponding ranges. In our illustration for the sepal length dispersion, we would have the box between the values 5.1 and 6.4, with the whisker ranging from 3.1 to 8.35, and with no outlier. Therefore, we are now ready for presenting a second definition for outliers, now based on the IQR. An outlier is any value lower than the first quartile minus one and a half IQR or higher than the third quartile plus one and a half IQR. Since standard deviation depend depends on the mean value, it is also perturbed by the existence of outliers and so less robust than IQR. In our examples, outlier would be below 3.15 and above 8.35. So, there is no outlier for the sepal length variable in the, in the iris dataset. Some remarks about the histograms and box plots. While histograms are good to illustrate the variable distribution, box plots are better to show the variable dispersion. However, it is important to note that two histograms to represent the same variable but with different number of bins have just one and the same box plot as their correspondence, which reveals the different expressivity of both kinds of charts, and the choice between them depends on our goal. See you soon!